All right, right now let's head over to the brand new looking Blanco kitchen to see what creamy pasta dish Chef Mark is cooking for us today. That's all right, we've got pasta on the menu today, prawn chorizo creamy pasta, classic Italian, really simple to do, got tomatoes in there, a little bit of stock and cream and that makes this wonderful rich sauce. Um, some chorizo in there and then those beautiful prawns as well. It's really easy, one pot wonder, that's always a bonus. I'm gonna show you how to do it a little bit later. And it is great to be back in the Blanco kitchen with Mark. Now you had my help yesterday and you loved it, didn't you? Yeah, that's so, why you're back. So any notes for today? I'm just gonna to roll up my sleeves so I don't burn them. Yeah, just don't be scared to get stuck in. Okay, that's good. Do you like my apron? Love it. It's Did great. you make this specially? Yeah, yeah, that's what I wear at home. Really? I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you do. Right, so what are we doing? Right, so we're going to get a pan really hot. I'm going to get a little bit of oil in there and we're going to saute our prawns off. Now, this is, a, this is what I want to ask you the question about. Why oh, have yeah. you left the tails on them? Laziness. Because it's annoying because <laughs> you've got to eat it and you've got to, oh, hang on, I've got to take the tail off. It's texture, Mel. Can you actually Did eat those tails? Yeah, if you fry them off, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, could you take those off, please? Just a little heads up. Right, okay, so flavouring right. those. So prawns, so if they're a little bit wet, um, just dry them off, because we're going to put them in a hot pan with oil. I've got a little bit of Cajun seasoning on there, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of dried oregano, and some salt and pepper. And then we're going to give that a really good stir. Straight into a hot pan? Yeah, straight into a hot okay. pan. Make sure it's all coated. And, you know, prawns won't take long to cook, so really hot pan. Just can maybe a minute or so, yep, you can use that. How long do they take? Just a minute or so, okay. Yeah, right. that, about a minute. And now? Yep. Okay. Yep, just checking, just checking. I don't want to mess anything up. Otherwise, you you'll go. never have me back again. Oh, look at that. The sound of magic, oh, that is. Yeah, isn't it, Jeff? Right, so just saute them around. After about a minute or so, we're going to pop them out onto the plate. Look, so you don't want to overcook them. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. It's, it's so fast. And then. And then we're going to take the prawns out and then we're going to uh, saute our um, chorizo. Is that a normal combination, prawns and chorizo? Yeah, yeah, classic. Very Spanish. Yeah, works well. Um, so, obviously, two different options with chorizo. You've got a fresh sausage here, like we have here. So take, oh, you're peeling your sausage. Yeah, so if you've got the fresh sausage, we're just going to take the skins off. And then you've just left with this beautiful sausage meat, and we'll fry that once the prawns are out. So it's almost like a sausage mince, like a chorizo yeah, mince. Yeah, or you could get the dried ones, the cured ones, and you can just slice it really thin and just saute it off. So either or, whatever your preference they is. They look like they're nearly done, aren't they? I'd give it, yeah, another 20 seconds, and they are good to go. Oh, well, they smell beautiful. So I'm just going to slice some onion for the next sort of stage of this recipe. Oh, I, so love, nice watching, and thin. I love watching chefs slice onions properly. Can you do this, Mark? No, I can, but not as fast or as accurate. And people don't like seeing me cut things because I'm left-handed and it scares some people. Right, they're going out right now. I'm going to take All right, this out. Yep, so take them out. Okay, onto the plate. So, what do we do with the sausage meat? Onto the plate, a little bit more oil in there. And because you've, you know, you've got your pan warm and you put the prawns in and everything, so the pan there, the heat of the pan has sort of gone down. So just give it another sort of minute or so, or 30 seconds to Let a minute, get it hot again, and then we can put our um, sausage meat in there. Uh, saute it around and keep sort of jamming it and breaking it up. Mashing so it's, it. Okay, that's it, good, because yeah. I do notice when I do cook, I do tend to jam things a lot, like sort of push things a lot, <laughs> prod them. Yeah. No, that's good, that's good. We do that as well. Look, and then you're, not, you're not even I've looking got, at that when you're cutting. Oh, years, years of practice. Yeah, that's true, it is your job, isn't it? Right, can I put this in now? Yeah, Surely that's yep, warm enough. when it's like nice just and hot. Chuck them all in? Yep. Okay. As long as you've got the sizzle there, there you go. Yep, there's the sizzle. There you it's go. a slightly small sizzle. Um, and then I've got some water on here, so I've seasoned it with some salt. I'm going to put a splash of uh, olive oil in there. And when it comes up to the boil, I'm going to cook our um, pasta shells. Okay. So we've got these uh, beautiful pasta shells. Do you have, is well, it that shape for any particular reason? Uh, just because it holds the sauce, so the sauce yeah. goes inside and sucks oh, the sauce up, so it's great, yeah. so it's nice and juicy. You know, Good. but you can use whatever uh, pasta you've got. What have you got in the back of the cupboard that you've exactly. had there for a couple of months? Yeah, which is fine, because it's dry. Yeah. That's all right. And we've got some pepper as well, so I'm going to... Just as you do in the first stage of this recipe, you can just get everything else ready, you know? Okay, good. As I keep smashing the sausage, yeah. you can do all the hard bits. Exactly. So I'm just going to dice all that up. And then once our sausage is all, you know, get it nice and browned and it's all broken up, we'll pop that onto the plate as well and then we'll start making our sauce. Oh, look at that. It's browning up nicely. So if you don't have all of the exact ingredients, can you improvise and try other things instead? Yeah, exactly. Like you what? Know, I mean, you can do whatever you want, whatever vegetables you've got. Um, you know, you could just make it just all the vegetables, so you don't even need to make any, any sort of meat in there. Yeah, but the meat's uh, going to be the great, best part. You well, yeah. If Mike was there, I'd say chicken and bacon, because he loves that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you, I mean, that's the beauty of cooking. You know, you can put whatever ingredients you want in there, especially yeah. Italian cookery. You know, you've got, your, you've got your cheese there, you've got your pasta, you've got your tomato. You know, you've got all those classic flavours, so, you know, put any protein in there you want. 
Awesome. Okay. Excellent. How's okay. That going? It's going really well. So we'll leave this to to do this bit, and we'll uh, take a we'll just we'll come back in a minute and see how we do the rest of it, shall we? We need to keep on with this because I'm still smashing up this chorizo. What's the next step for the pasta? <laughs> right, pasta's gone in, so let's just come up to the boil now. We'll uh, turn it down, cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. When it's al dente, we'll drain it off, and then our sauce should be ready to okay, go. Okay, so more of this, or I've done No, no, so I think it's really good now. We've got some colour on there. You know, you can bash it up nice and fine if you want, or you can leave it nice and I rustic like, it like that. Yeah, exactly. So that's fine. Pop that on the prawns. And okay. then uh, get some more Back oil heat in with there. This. Yeah, a little bit more oil in there. And then we'll turn it down to a medium heat, and then we're going to start sautéing our onions. Oh, yum. So just I get love our the smell of frying onions. Look how so fine they're chops. And then... A little bit of seasoning. If only I had a professional inside. chef who just could just pop in every night to cook me dinner. <laughs> It'd be kind of nice. It's called a restaurant, sure, Belle. Can I not be like Oprah? Because I'm sure she's got one of those. Yeah, restaurant. <laughs> so you can see the sort of just, you know, the softening, the starting to go translucent. Yeah. That's, what, that's what you want now. Sorry, Miss, was that garlic you put in there too? Yeah, right. sliced garlic in there. And I've got some peppers as well. Okay. So just give this a couple of minutes now. And it will just soften those vegetables. You don't want to, you don't want to sort of have them mushy. You, you don't know? want to mush them and have them all black. Mush them, you want no. them to be nice and soft and flavorful. Exactly. Oh, you've been listening now. A um, little bit of brown sugar in there, just What's for a little, on? little bit of sweetness, and it's going to sort of, you know, it'll sort of melt in and sort of, you know, lightly caramelize and give another flavor oh, to the nice. sauce. Yeah. And a little bit more um, Cajun spice as well. Is that a hot spice? Like, what is the mix for that? A little bit. It's got, yeah, it's got chili in. Yeah. And some spices. Then, do you want to try some? Do I want to try some? <laughs> no, I don't want to try some. That sounds like a trick question. So Mike falls for it all the time. Oh, really? It's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be for thinking, don't they, for dancing. Right, and then we've got some, we've got some of our ingredients here now. Right. So They look pretty brown. Yep, yeah, so that's really good. So this stage now, I'm going to put the uh, tomatoes, just some candied tomatoes in there. Right. Getting that, uh, bring so they're, they're it up to the boil. Fine. If you don't have the fine ones, can you just use the chunky ones? Or? Yeah, you can use the chunky ones and just bash it down, or you, you can blend them. I mean, it's it's quite a rustic dish anyway. You know, yeah, we've got lots okay, of texture good. in so I'm good chunky at ones. Yeah. <laughs> chunky ones are fine. Get a little bit of um, chicken stock in there. And we're just going to bring that up to the boil. Probably want to cook that for a few minutes. Um, reduce it down slightly before we add our cream. Right. I'm going to pop the cream in and I'm going to show you. So, what's going to happen if you add that? Isn't that bad to add into something very hot? Or well, no, no, you're no, the chef, you know what you're no, doing, no. don't you? Well, you'll have to do that now. That's I thought right. you weren't. I thought it did weird things. Okay, oh, well, look at that. So we've got that. the cream in there. So you make, effectively, you're making a creamy sauce, really, but right. you've, got that, you've got that stock in there. You've got the tomatoes in there, so it's going to be really nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. Cook that out so it sort of reduces by about a third to a half, thickens up slightly, and then last minute, you know, your chorizo's all browned. Your prawns are uh, pretty much cooked as well, so you're just going to pop that back in, warm it back up. Right. The pasta should be ready. Drain it off, pop it in, a bit of parsley, oh, palms down over the top. Yeah. Really, so really should we, easy. Should we leave this for a little bit more? Just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. just thicken up a little bit more? Okay, yep. I will leave that right there. It smells so good. I can't wait to try this. Thank you, Mark. I love being in the kitchen <laughs> with you. Right, so here's our sauce. So you can see it's thickened. We're going to add our prawns and chorizo back to it. Pop our pasta in. Toss it all together. Look at that. And then big bowl, carefully without making too much of a mess. Pop it in there. Oh, Bit of parsley. And uh, heaps of parmesan oh, cheese. Yum. Look at that. that. There you go. Good. Right, this is to share, Nixon. It's not all for you.